What's up guys, we're Mr. 97 from Storm Studios here with you, here with a new type of video. Today we're going to be playing in ranked, as you can see we are captain right now and we get to ban out some champions. And since we're first pick, we're going to be able to get, uh, you know, pretty much whatever we want. And I went with the Sejuani, because Sejuani has literally just pulled me out of Bronze 3, Bronze 4 I mean, into Bronze 3 from bronze five because i was starting low trying to do this series and nothing ever really worked out uh i'm gonna do it in a new style though i'm gonna leave most of everything in as long as i'm talking about something that's going on uh i'll probably go ahead and shut up most of the time but uh anytime that i'm not saying anything or nothing interesting is going on obviously i'll cut out but this will probably be one of the longer videos that will be on my channel whenever I do this. And whether or not you like that, let me know because I can do long videos with lots of information or I can do the short funny videos like I've been doing. So, like I said, first pick, so just gonna go ahead and grab me the Sejuani. There we go, got the Sejuani, so we're going to go ahead and... Ooh, they pick a Sivir. That's actually a very good counter pick into Sejuani, because if she times it right, she can block most of my damage with my ult. Oh, never mind, she picked Jinx, she's screwed. Jinx has no escapability when compared to Sejuani, because... Yes, her things snare me as I run through them, but my Q continues through them. Even though I'm snared, I can still knock her up. And then by the time she's down, I'm raring to go with my EW. And then if my ult's up, even more for her. And same with Riven. They're picking a very auto-attack based team so far. Um, so a lot of armor definitely. Because I can easily counter two of them. Which AP junglers, while well, powerful, are other than Sejuani and maybe a Mumu, are not very well said, so I'll probably be able to count the jungler as well, though I did ban out Vi. Um, having their top laner and their ADC both very up. Oh, hey, speaking of the Amumu, uh, Amumu is like a secondary Sejuani. If you play Sejuani and she gets banned out, Amumu is a very, very strong pick for you because the abilities all kind of do the same. But, um, you know, they, like, they all do the same. The only difference is Sejuani's ult goes forward and Sejuani's E slows, whereas Amumu's just damages. Uh, Pick and Braum, also another auto attack champion. So even though they're jungler, I don't counter. Braum isn't going to be able to do anything to me because his phys his abilities, I can speak today, I promise, well scaling off of HP are physical damage for the most part and highly reliant on getting off those auto attacks. Ah, uh, looks like my team's in a little bit of trouble here. Kind of chill the mood happened. See if we can, can't get our team to work together a bit more because fighting definitely is not a good thing for your team to be doing unless it's against the enemy team. Did you know? Nexus believes strengths in all forms determine the worth of an in... Noxus, not Nexus, believes strength in all its form determines the weakness of an individual. Not sure if that's just stating the obvious or if it's actually really, really... Uh, get out of here. Profound. Sorry about that. Had to deal with some editing. So, um... I, I don't know. I, this is a loading screen. There's not much I can really say. 
Uh, pretty much obvious comp on their end, Riven Top, Jinx, Brombot, Amu, Jungle, and Talon mid lane. No surprises there. They might, if they're expecting the Cassiopeia mid, they might send Riven mid. Though she's not a very good counter by any means, she might fare better than Talon. But we know, because we saw our team's little argument there, that our Cassiopeia is actually going bottom. Uh... I have no idea how that's going to work. Ash is carrying the exhaust instead of Cass. Hopefully the Scarin can prove himself and stop any further fighting. Uh, let's go ahead and just grab our items and get ready to go ahead and head down bot. Ah, crap. That's something I do a lot. Just out of force of habit, I start with my Q. Uh, you definitely want to start with your W on Sejuani. I'm going to have a rough time in the beginning now because of that little fail there on my part um welcome to no one like i said just try and defuse the situation try and uh Stop the fighting, because, again, the fighting is not going to help by any means. Uh, let's ask them for a leash, just to be sure. Guys, there we go. Thank you. Minions have spawned. <laughs> there we go. Now we got him. Uh, <laughs> I took a little bit of effort. I think they thought I said please in the no fighting. Uh, yeah, since I started Q, this is going to be a little bit rough. I'm definitely going to have to uh, smite the just to get things going faster and to get that little boost uh, evidently our Akali is having some ping issues I'm having a bit but not much so I should be fine Let's go ahead and just hop the wall grab our W like we should have and get to killing this red buff go ahead and pop our other pot just because we're not going to need it after the red buff. Killing the red buff is definitely the biggest part of Sejuani's starting on the blue side. Uh, it's very painful for her early, especially if you start with your Q like I did. Uh, there we go. Uh, very, very close to being a bad thing. I'm actually going to have to back here just to heal up. Usually I would start with my WE, so I'd have a bit more health at the end of that. Um, then I'd run up to the wolves and be able to take that, but yeah, as you saw, I was pretty low. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my boots and a health pot, just for some better movement, getting from camp to camp. Camp to camp, help my clear speed a bit. Uh, we're actually going to jump this wall, just to save a bit of extra time. Because since those base skates are there, we'll take advantage of them. Go ahead and fight the wolves. Now, since I went back, I'm not going to smite the wolves. I'm going to save my smite for the gromp. And, um... Because that'll actually help me kill blue buff faster than smiting the blue buff. It's, a uh, very powerful AoE damage that the gromps give you. When they're all attacking you, like the jungle camps do definitely uh, probably the most powerful buff in the game is the gromp uh, top lane just gave up first blood and send that out and I actually have smite up already so I'll go ahead and smite the blue buff W E boom boom. 
We're a bit low health, but... Uh, Talon is only level 4. I might be able to pressure him out of lane. I guess I'll go help Garen top. Go ahead and place a ward down. Riven nose. Go ahead and grab my Q. Go ahead and go back. I can get my upgrade jungle item and just start clearing some more because nothing is really set for us any ganks. Go ahead and grab. Doo -doo. And I'm 15 gold away from a ward, so I'll go ahead and wait for that. Wards are heavily important, especially when you're playing a jungler like Sejuani. If you have vision, you can counter gank so well with your knockup because anyone who has engaging is suddenly not engaging. Uh, usually by now I'd be picking up a vision ward and a stealth ward, but like I said, I had a bit of a rough start because I accidentally grabbed my Q. That Braum is defending the Jinx fairly well. I'll go ahead and farm the Krugs. Another path. Smite's almost up, so I'll go ahead and take the Raptors. This is not a can't you really want to fuck with. They deal a lot of damage, and now that I have my wards, I can see if Talon will be able to see me when I come up here to the side. The answer is no. Deal some little bit of early damage to him. Throw up. Alright. Tax successfully taken, just for holding the lane, and it keeps him off of the tower so that. Uh, Riven will, not Riven, Akali will be able to farm successfully. Go ahead and take the crab real quick. Successfully fully ward this river for that Garen. Oh, uh, well, I guess his bush isn't warded, but hopefully a Moomoo doesn't come through the dry bush. Pick up that, and then a vision ward and another ward. Some people will say it's a waste of money, but you know what? If I'm keeping my team safe, then I'm doing my job as a jungler, even if I'm not there. So, I've done that bit of warding for Garen. He has quite a bit of leeway. As long as he keeps his bush warded, he will have no trouble seeing a Moomoo when he comes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a ward on Dragon, and then a pink ward in the bush. Fight Go ahead and go throw my pink in that bush. We bow to no Actually, go ahead and try and save a collie, I guess. No spoils for the meek. No, you don't. I need like. This cannon minion should get me to level 6. There we go. 
So now my ult's up. Shut up, dude. Came to save your fucking life. At least you could do is let me take a little bit of experience. Oh, look who's dying again. There is no strength in servitude. Running, 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 running. Damn it. Fuck off, Jinx. Damn it. In rocket range. It's ridiculous. At least Ash and Akali picked up the kills. We got our Burmy Cinder. We'll. Clear jungles a little bit faster, do a little bit more damage, yada yada. Just all around a good item. Um, things aren't going perfect for us, but they're not going bad by any means. Um, Amumu is ganking a bit better, but that's just because our lanes are so far pushed compared to theirs. I've managed to counter gank successfully a couple times. I really need to go top. Because Garen is just auto attacking Riven. Okay. So I really need to be going top, which means we need to get this dragon sorted out. They're going to go ahead and go towards Dragon now, I believe, if they're playing this smart. They're not. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I don't think so, Talon! We got our whole team, and it looks like we're going to take our first dragon. Which means I can now go sort Garen up top. First, I'm going to pick up my blue. Amumu was just bought, so I have no risk of anyone smite stealing it, so I can go ahead and smite it. Just for a little bit faster clear, so I can come up here and try and help Garen. Come on, Garen, don't die. Alright, Riven's flash is down, that's good for me. Hopefully she's gotten so used to me not coming up here that she won't have anything warded? Damn it! I'm out. Talon is on his way, so I am backing the fuck out. Didn't get away. He flashed for me, though.
I'm not saying that was good, I shouldn't have been caught out like that, but since he flashed for me, that's useful information for a collie. Um, definitely, the death is always worth a flash. If they flash, then they get you, they win. I lost that trade, but that is good information for a collie. Up, oh, Riven's down. Uh, another lost trade, not really worth. Um, gotta go bot. <laughs> I guess I don't need to go bot. Oh my god. Oh. Ash. Get the gift of heavy hands. Uh, yeah, again, not going bad by any means, but not going exactly the way we want it to. Again, Amumu's being a huge thorn in our side. Uh, Kali's gonna hate me for this, but I'm just gonna run up and smite that, and then I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand here. And let Akali take the rest. Gift of Heavy Hands helps us take the Scuttle Crab. Unstoppable. And Cassiopeia is unstoppable. No spoils. the minion okay we live a is gonna try and come for us but we should be gone uh, like I said a just he's so much stronger than us right now uh, my pink words still up no it's not I don't think so yeah no so I'll go ahead and grab another pink ward oh no wait yeah it's up did I step off? I did not step off. Cool. So I can grab another stealth ward instead. So bot lane is dominating. It's uh, mostly... It's mostly us who are actually getting our asses kicked right now. Uh, once I'm a bit tankier, I've wasted a lot of gold on wards, but it's actually helped out my team quite a bit. So it's not really a waste, so much as it is a late game investment, really. Place a ward there for future. It wasn't going to help me get there any faster anyway. Now I see that Amumu's coming. Actually saved me there. Save me from walking into what was probably a huge trap of me getting snared under tower alone. See? Wards save your life. Slow him down so Cassiopeia can get the kill. Flash away! And Cass gets the other kill. Uh, Ash is going to take that tower. Would die to the Riven, probably. There wasn't much we could have done if we stayed. Go ahead and pick those two parts of that up and pick up another ward. Dragon's up, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way down there. To no 
Go ahead and ping for the dragon. Hopefully they listen to me. They did say earlier that I was uh, essentially the team captain. And Garen will take the dragon. Hopefully they... Uh, Oh, well, I guess they don't need me. Wait, I still need help, guys! Alright, so now we can go ahead and come up this way. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna ward their blue. Uh, tell the cast that when their blue is up, I'll help her take it because that's why I warded it Hopefully cast can continue. Yep. There you go. There you go cast Definitely worth in that situation. I wish we would have been able to get out, but, um, you know, uh, triple kill and now what's now going to be a tower. Uh, their blue should be up any minute here. Because none of them had it. Otherwise, oh yeah, they did have it, because the cat has it. Uh, oh well, I guess that ward's kind of useless, but... Amumu complaining when it's a team game. We may not have the best KD, but look at our KDA. Let's go ahead and come up. Oh my god, Cassiopeia. Well, the real Cassiopeia, please stand up. Oh my god. What is he building so far? And they agreed to surrender. That was a really quick game. Uh, Alright then. That'll probably go up as a whole. I didn't even run out of things to say. Alright, so we won it. So we're on our way out of Bronze 3.